And seeing the image, it jarred me. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to come out and give a statement, but I got a message from a friend. And I faced a lot of racism in my life, and I can be honest with you, I fought back when I faced racism. I, I fought back with my fists. But there's a lot of people that weren't able to do that. One of my friends told me how he wasn't able to do that. And seeing this image today, the kids that see this image, and the people that see this image, are going to think about all the times in their life that they were made fun of, that they were hurt, that they were hit, that they were insulted, that they were made to feel less because of who they are. And I want to talk to those people right now. I want to talk to all the kids out there, all the folks who live this and now are grown up and are still feeling the pain of racism. I want you to know that you might feel like giving up on Canada. You might feel like giving up on yourselves. I want you to know that you have value, you have worth, and you are loved. And I don't want you to give up on Canada, and please don't give up on yourselves. There's so many people in this country that believe in taking care of one another. I know it's hard to believe right now, but there are. And together, we are going to come together and take care of one another. So seeing this image is going to be hard for a lot of people. It's going to bring up a lot of pain. It's going to bring up a lot of hurt. Please reach out to your loved ones. Please reach out to people who are suffering in silence right now. Please let them know that they are loved and they are celebrated for who they are. Like all Canadians, I was extremely shocked and disappointed when I learned of Justin Trudeau's actions this evening. Wearing brown face is an act of open mockery and racism. It was just as racist in 2001 as it is in 2019. And what Canadians saw this evening is someone with a complete lack of judgment and integrity and someone who's not fit to govern this country. Well, it was deeply shocking. Uh, the, the photo itself, when I saw it, I felt physically ill. It um, is shameful that that event ever occurred, that it was in a photo. I watched the Prime Minister's apology and I was pleased to see that Justin Trudeau did apologize and I would say he appeared to show real contrition, uh, that he didn't know then that what he was doing was racist. I still find that troubling because he was a grown man and a school teacher and how could you not know that that was racist. So uh, he, he will have to demonstrate that he's prepared to model the highest level of conduct in solidarity with marginalized people, demonstrating a commitment to social justice and human rights and inclusion and diversity uh, in a way that goes beyond uh, image and walks the talk.